James Michael Collins was arrested Tuesday after driving his van into a home and fleeing the scene. Tuesday, Mountain Top spoke with Public Information Officer Tony Kahn about the arrest. Yeah, we had a we had a collision this morning, of course, uh, vehicle versus structure. Uh, the operator fled on, fled on foot. We were not able to locate him. We, we brought the drone out. We also brought our canine out, but still couldn't find him. Um, we received tips throughout the day of where the operator may be. Several of those uh, tips didn't pan out, but one of them did. Um, we uh, located the individual officers, went to the, the, the Harrells Branch area of the city, Carter Drive area up in Harrells Branch, uh, did a sort of a knock and talk to see if he was in there. As soon as they knocked on the door, he fled out the back door. Officers, short foot pursuit, uh, the suspect attempted to get back in the house. Officers were able to detain him without any kind of incident. At Pikeville Medical Center, we believe that together we can make a difference in the fight against cancer. We are proud to have patients who have experienced successful outcomes over many years. As always, we believe in the power of faith. Pikeville Medical Center, where cancer can be defeated. According to Khan, damages left by Collins include that of the home, a side-by-side -side ATV, and a Maserati car, all estimated at around $250,000. Khan says finding Collins was a team effort. And it's a team effort. It always is a team effort here. Uh, I wasn't the one that absolutely you know, did the uh, detaining, but as soon as they detained him, they got a hold of me. And so he's in our custody now, being detained. He's inside the police station for an interview. And uh, like I said, it, it makes us all feel good. You know, our, our main thing is our community partnership with our community and our citizens. And we're, we make sure, we try our best to make sure something like this happens. We, we keep looking, keep looking until we've extinguished every possible lead. But today we were blessed and lucky and, and uh, there's also skill too because these officers never stop. Collins has been charged with the following. Operating a vehicle on a suspended license, criminal mischief, leaving the scene of an accident, and wanton endangerment. For Mountaintop News, I'm Joel Cordial.